I found this 9x4.5 propeller listed on Thingiverse, so I thought I'd give it a go. I never imagined you'd be able to 3D print a propeller. It took about two and a half hours to print. It's just in PLA and it feels plenty strong enough. It just feels like a normal propeller, really. have to print it with supports because there are sort of free air printing areas. But all the supports came off very easily, even the centre one as well. It's kind of textured and layered, so I'll need to sand it up a little bit to get it smooth. See, I'll have to sand off a lot of these sort of daggy little bits here. A bit of a ridge along this blade. That'll sand off, I'm sure. This blade came out very nicely. And I'll compare it to a normal purchased propeller as well. Just took one little bit of tape to balance it. Ah, excellent. That's good. And comparing it to another uh, APC 9x4.5, 16.1 grams, 10.2 grams, so it's a lot lighter. So I mounted it on my Mini Talon with a 1100kV Sunny Sky 2212 on 4S. That's a one kilogram all up weight, lightweight Mini Talon. Maximum current just under 15 amps and when I changed it to a, a normal APC 9 by 4.5 uh, it drew a little bit more maybe 17 amps so this one is using more current the diameter of that is actually just a little bit less than 9 inch um, but anyway we'll see how they both feel in the air okay 3d printed prop test time there's the prop there a little bit rough really really hard to balance on the plane I can get it to balance on the prop balancer but uh, it really doesn't want to balance while it's spinning so it may shake itself apart but let's try it anyway had the Mobius camera here to record it if it explodes some people have predicted it'll explode some people say it has zero chance of success let's see anyway Sounds horrible, sounds rough, but it's flying and we just have to be ready for any sudden failures. Definitely working. I should set up my um, uh, current sensor so I can compare it with a, an APC 9x4.5. Let's do that. Definitely flying, no dramas there. Let's glide it in. Good workhorse, the Mini Talon. Hey, got a big gust there. Ready to go again, now we have current sensor. Zero amps. Eleven amps. Flying okay. Seven point five amps. Seven amps. Six point four. Flying around on four point nine five amps. Five point three amps. So I can fly around on six, seven amps in this wild strong wind, so let's try the other APC nine four five prop. Oh there's a lot of wind. And that's the end of that prop, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> so there you go. It did break. <laughs> but it's kind of expected. It's not too unusual. Well, good test. It works. <laughs> it's a bit brittle. Uh, but let's try the other prop now, just to see how it compares. It's about a 15 knot wind. 
Here we go again with the grey 6945 uh, APC prop. Quieter. Definitely a lot quieter. 3.2 amps. Can fly on less current. 3 amps. <laughs> there you go. 2.4 amps. So, 3D printed prop can be done, but not a good idea. 2.2 amps. 5.4. Oh yeah, this is a much, much more efficient, this commercially moulded prop. Much quieter, much Four, less current draw. Amps. Three point seven amps, amps. So there you go, we have a conclusion. Four point three amps. Noisier, less efficient, more brittle. Four amps. If that's what you want in a prop, then you can three D print them. Five. 